Anyway, so I had the best, the best workout just now. Today was leg and booty day. It's Monday. I had a workout early this morning and I just finished posting all about it on my story because I do that now because you guys really like to see it actually. And it just holds me accountable because when I'm like, I'm gonna be in the gym five days this week if I don't hit it, which hasn't happened yet, but y'all be on it. You know, you'd be like, sis, sis, what? where's the workout content? Where's the fitness content? Um, so I had a really, really good workout this morning. I'm very, 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 very pleased. And I'm just feeling very fit. I'm feeling like a little fit mommy, you know? I've been in the gym consistently for over a month now. I started working on the gym. The gym's reopened in my building at the end of March. It was literally like the last, the last week of March, like March 20. I feel like March 25th is speaking to me. It was around that time. So I've just consistently been in the gym for, I did four days a week for the entire month of April and now I'm stepping it up to five for the month of May. That is this month's um, goal just for the month, like for fitness wise, that's my fitness goal. I have other goals set for like content and YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. But um, as far as fitness, my fitness goal for the month is to be in the gym five days a week for the next four weeks. I'm really trying to transform my body before summer gets here and it's obviously transforming, you know, currently. It's progressing currently, but I just wanna step it up because I feel like I can do it. I can do it. Um, so I had a really great workout and I'm feeling really good. I drank my pre-workout before I started to work out and now I want to make a protein shake um, because I need the protein. I just exhausted all of my lower body muscles and I need to give them back that protein and some carbs so you know they could get nice and, and thick and full and juicy because that's what I want my booty to look like. Okay, period. I got my, my camera here. I just have it like push to the side I should move it though but I have on my little workout set that I get off of Amazon I'm about to order two more of these actually because I feel like four is just not enough I want like six you know I want I want to have more I want more colors hopefully they have the other colors in stock my shorts got a little dirty because I was doing like dumbbell um hip thrust and the dumbbell was dirty and every time I put the dumbbell on my clothes that always happens even though I'd be wiping it off beforehand it's still there's always like some dirt or dust or whatever that comes off but this is what we looking like right now okay the waist is on slim the waist is on snatched okay the booty the booty's on fat okay um I'm here for me this is me May 3rd, um, just take like a little screenshot in your brain because when y'all see me at the end of the month, hopefully I look even better. <laughs> That's the goal, so. I'm gonna do two bananas. It's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker. Then just shut up, shut up. She said shut up, bitch I'm done up. It's a whole lot of money in this small month. What they got? Hey, a lot of money in this small book. Okay. Dang, this shit is frozen. My fridge is too high, I guess. But I turned it down. That's crazy. Plant-based chocolate protein from Bloom Nutrition. You can use code Jasmine at checkout to save some coins. Yes, ma'am. This is the 
the perfect consistency. Oh, yes. guys i'm about to go to the post office <laughs> to ship out some destiny shop orders um but i just wanted to let you guys know yo i look so you can't even like literally hat sunglasses and the mask i could be anyone i could literally be anyone that my best friend, she a rope bad bitch, have a on car. She don't need no lift for the strip club. Rope bad, have a on car. DP, is that my bestie in a taxi? Flash forward, I was getting on tan. Ooh, she ready, but you looked up with a teeth. I'm on hype up every time. I'm on ball fucking friend. <laughs> Period. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a, I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a, I'm a baby. I'm finna go to the post office. You guys, um, I ended up going to the post office. And then where did I go? I went to Ralph's and I just picked up some like little essential things that I needed. I got a pizza because I was like, I don't feel like cooking, but I want pizza and I want to be fairly healthy. <laughs> it's a little thin crust barbecue chicken pizza. Or my lemon water, my pizza. Um, and I have work to do, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's mad good. Good morning! I'd be a billionaire if I saw my sex tape. Pretty bitch music. Good morning, vloggy vlog! Let me do that again, actually, because that was so ugly. Good morning, vloggy vlog! Yeah. Good morning, vloggy vlog. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I just got back from the gym. I'm hella sweaty and disgusting. I sweat so much today because today was a cardio day. And of course, as soon as I want to start vlogging, there's a whole bunch of commotion outside when it was just quiet. That's crazy. Um, I decided before I jump in the shower, I'm gonna clean my kitchen because my floors need to get cleaned. I want to wipe down all the surfaces um, and just like make it very clean. I'm probably gonna do the bathroom too because I'm already sweaty, so you know, might as well put in that work, put in that work, and clean my kitchen. So that's what I'm finna do right now. That's what I'm finna do right now. Where's my phone? Big drag, big drag. Stop everything. This is a, a tripod in my phone. And then you put your phone in here. 
like this. It came with a remote, a Bluetooth remote. Fine, yeah. <laughs> I just got back from the supermarket. It's hella late. It's 10 o'clock. But Ralph's closes like 2 a.m. But yeah, I needed groceries desperately because I had no food in here. <laughs> I didn't go food driving last week. I was eating out all last week. So I was like, no, we need groceries. I'm gonna need them right now. But like, I got so much stuff and I forgot to bring my reusable bag. So I was on the phone with Mona when I was leaving here. And I just wasn't thinking, like, I was very distracted or whatever. Forgot to bring my reusable bags that are, like, fairly big and can fit, like, a lot of things in one. And I usually bring, like, two to three of those, and I'm good. But this time I forgot them, so I had to use, like, the Ralph's, like, plastic bags. And literally, like, my arms feel like they're going to fall off. I got bananas, you know, for smoothies. I got this chicken, um, this cooked chicken. It just smelled so good, and... I'm really freaking hungry. Like, I haven't eaten anything. And they're chicken tenders. Look. Mm hmm. That will definitely do. Mm hmm. That's definitely gonna do. That's dinner tonight because I didn't feel like making nothing. With me increasing my workload and trying to be more consistent on all of my social media channels, I feel like I'm constantly working and I haven't really carved out or perfected the time to like be cooking every single day, especially multiple meals throughout the day, which is why I like my protein shakes with my meal replacement and all that stuff just be doing it for me because that's like a blended meal right there and i typically only eat like once maybe twice after that which is not the best but it's always typically fairly healthy so now i feel like i'm gravitating more towards things that are just easier to make overall so i got these macaroni and cheese bites they're martha stewart's brand i feel like those would be good those in the air fryer yeah and then I got some crunchy popcorn shrimp, Kroger brand. This one was on sale. And then I got their crunchy jumbo butterfly shrimp. Very yummy. Air fryer. Like, all of this stuff is going in the air fryer. <laughs> I got um, some sausages. And it's so funny because I was supposed to get eggs and I completely forgot. But I got Triscuits. These are my absolute favorite. The rosemary and olive oil. And then I also got the dill sea salt and olive oil. I love I love these with cheese. I love them with tuna. I just love these triscuits so much. Oh, and also I've had it with spinach dip. So good. That chicken left the, the most delicious taste in my mouth. Like the most yummiest aftertaste. It's like slightly spicy. It's seasoned really well. Like it really does taste like KFC. I got almond milk. Ooh. I got almond milk, uh, the almond brie vanilla with a hint of honey. So good. So, so good. Cracker Barrel cheese. This is the Colby Jack sticks. These are also on sale. I got some cans of tuna because I didn't have any tuna and I wanted to make my tuna and crackers sometime this week. So I got four cans. I got a bottle of Cab. This Cabernet was on sale, $8.99 for the bottle. Robert Mondavi. I remember, I feel like Shanice was telling me that this one was good. I feel like when we were in CVS, she had pointed out that this one was good, so. Then I got another water, because you can never have too much water. 
I got some honest teas. These were a dollar. They're um super low cal, 70 calories for the entire bottle of the green tea. And they have like no sugar in them, so. And then I got that um I get the same thing every single week. The lemon pesto uh from what is this? Taylor Farms, the meal kit. Ugh. This one's my favorite. Like, I like this one more than the Southwest, actually, that comes with the rice. Like, this lemon basil pesto is so good. I got one of these frozen pizzas with, like, a thin crust, slightly healthy-looking kind of situation. <laughs> I got a bag of frozen chicken breasts to cook with. And then I got some sweet potato fries. So I'm about to put these in the air fryer, and I'm going to eat them with this chicken. And that's gonna be dinner. I'm about to put all these groceries away. Hello, vloggy vlog. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I look so different, right? So tell me how I was filming literally all morning. I filmed my entire like body care slash maintenance routine. So I waxed my armpits, I waxed my upper lip and my eyebrows, I laminated my brows, I did a new, I washed my hair, I, I deep conditioned, I put a new, um, not a new wig on, but I put my wig back on. Like literally I did skincare, I did body care, like I shaved, I literally did it all. Like I did the entire routine. It took me like six no, it took me like seven hours to film, but literally like that's what I've been doing all day, which is why I am just now speaking to you guys. It's like five o'clock. The sun is still out though. Um, today's Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, Mona's doing Marge. The Money Mix is doing Marge and tacos at her house. So I'm gonna get ready so that I can go over to Mona's and I can have margaritas and tacos. It actually ended up working out perfectly because None of this was planned from when I decided that I was gonna film this today, but it kind of just all worked out because now like I'm a bad bitch, you know? Like from head to motherfucking toe, bitch. Like period, my skin, hello, ugh. My skin, my brows, my install, like I went to the gym this morning. I went to the gym, like I worked out and then I did all this stuff. Ugh, I just feel so good, like I feel so good, so productive. I've worn these things like I feel like a bunch of times but I don't think I've ever worn these two together um, so I just have this like lacy corset crop top like it has the wiring in it it's like a bustier yes that's the word so I have that on the titties is sitting I, I honestly love these kinds of tops because they just make my boobs look so good like normally you know I don't be wearing like bras or whatever and they don't just be sitting like this they, they don't be looking like this you know they just look so scrumptious like ah my Zara heels I was gonna wear my Zara flats but I was like it looked kind of weird with this outfit like clear perspex i think that's what it's called heel like just really you know set it off the legs is toned they're looking looking good looking thick ah! i just feel so cute and i haven't even done my makeup yet but i'm gonna do like a really quick beat like soft beat i don't even think i'm gonna do eyeshadow i might do eyeliner but i'm not decided yet because i'm kind of like in a rush now <laughs> need to leave in like an hour so yeah we gotta get to it i'm about to beat my face really quickly and then i'll check in with you guys when i'm about to leave you guys i forgot to tell you that i got to mona's i forgot to talk to you before i left but i'm at mona's the money mix is hosting a little margaritas and tacos night for cinco de mayo and that's why i'm at right now we just um we just got up here to the roof and they over here talking about aquariuses and how they're amazing <laughs> my kind of people mona come say hi uh, mona Oh, look at my oh, beautiful no, friend. There you go. Yeah. She did my makeup, y'all. Oh, yeah. It came out so cute. Mm -hmm. This mango margarita is so good. It tastes so good. It's so good. Where are you? Sydney! Hi. No, not us looking the same. No, literally. We do when we smile. That was so funny. <laughs> Got the margaritas, traditional mango 
strawberry. And then we got just some chips and salsa. And then we have the meat. We got the meat. The chips. The meat. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Tortillas. The meats. You know, everything. The toppings. There we go. Okay, you guys can eat. Mona's teaching us TikTok dances. And I made nachos from the leftovers. <laughs> Three, four, step, you're going to push it to balance you. You see it? Mm-hmm. So it's going to, you're going to go like that because you're going to be tired of like going like this. So you're going to do the, this four times. So left, right, left, right. Mind you, this, this arm is up this whole time to kind of balance you. So it's going to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And because it's TikTok, you can do fun stuff to help you balance. And you're going to be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it. Yeah, and then you're going to step hard into it because you want to push yourself up. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, one, push, three, four, down, down. I can't do the heel toe thing. I know I'm not going to do that because I never do the heel toe. You can, you can. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, yeah, it's up. Uh, come on. Better video, I got it. First of all, I got that video. Come on, better video. I've been watching you the whole time. You ready, guys? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, single ladies. Push, push. I can't believe it's Thursday and I'm moving the way that I'm moving, but bitch, we on the bus, I can move, okay? I got home at 7 a.m. I fell asleep at Mona's last night. I was too drunk, like unlimited margaritas. Like I was on my ass, okay? <laughs> um, passed out on Mona's couch and I got home at 7 a.m. I missed my gym workout because I was too tired. Like literally woke up at one this afternoon, but you know. It's cool. Today could just be a rest day. I'm gonna still go to the gym tomorrow morning. Mona hit me up <laughs> and she invited me to this party on Fairfax. Um, it's starting at four and it's like 2.40 now and I have no clothes to wear. So I wanna run down to Sandy Alley and see if I can get an outfit for today. And then I also have an event to go to tomorrow with Shanice. So I'm hoping I can find an outfit for tomorrow as well. Fingers crossed I find something though because I literally have no clothes. I have no clothes. Everything that I have, I've worn so many times and I'm just feeling like I'm tired. Like I'm tired of wearing the same thing. So let's go to Santiani. I found the cutest outfits off of Santi Ali. Um, this one that I'm wearing, very cute. Literally, uh, I can't. Like, hold on, let it focus. Cause it's giving booty. Booty, ori, 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 ori. Period, poo. It's a long sleeve. It has like the, the keyhole actually on the, yeah, so it fits your hand like that. And it says lucky label on it. I don't know what label that is, but this is it. I got this from Glam by KS Fashion on Santee Alley. I'll have them linked down below their Instagram. And this jean jacket is also from them too. That's the little store that I always go to. And then I just have on my Balenciagas, my trainers. Um, and I'm probably gonna do my Telfar because it's black and it'll just match everything, the little vibe we got going on. My friend Brittany is on her way over here and we're gonna head over to this party on Fairfax or this like little, it's like a listening party or something, I don't know. But probably gonna end up doing some cute stuff after that. I'm like torn because I wanna bring my vlog camera but then again I don't, but I think I'm gonna bring it. If anything, I would just vlog off my phone, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna bring it, so. No, yeah, I'm, mm, mm. I'm gonna bring it. Okay, so I'll see you guys up here next. Just that on that. <laughs> okay, period. Um, Brittany's here. Hi. It's Bye. 
bad bitch Britney. That's literally her name <laughs> in my phone, you guys. It's bad bitch Britney. We're um getting. We just got margaritas. We're yes. gonna cheers. Cheers. Yes. Casamigos. Ooh, that's good. You did a great job. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. We were just at this TDE event. Um, there was just a bunch of people standing outside. A lot of niggas, you know, just grouped up. There was two food trucks and like a little screen of a video playing or something, but I don't know, we might walk back over there, see if it's given anything. If not, we're probably gonna head to the Grove. I don't know, something. We need to find something to do. I need to be mixy today. And that's the vibe. <laughs> so we're at spot number two. Part of it. We got Brussels sprouts and pepperoni pizza and calamari, and we bought the eat. Our margaritas are very strong. Very We're very strong. lit. You know, Brittany looking very cute. You know. You guys, we're three rounds in, right? Me and Brittany are three rounds in. Now, Hi. How you doing? Jasmine, nice to meet you on her vlog now. Yeah. Brittany, nice to meet you. You just, you just inserted yourself. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What you want tonight? That's funny. You guys, why am I lit though? Why am I lit on a Thursday? You know what? <laughs> You hear my voice? You see how I start my makeup on? Mm -hmm. It's 7.38 in a month morning and guess I'm listening to Drake. Drake. I just got a DM. Not how you feeling. Much better. I'm feeling much better. <laughs> Anyway, so it's motherfucking Friday. It's motherfucking Friday. Happy Friday. Um, it's the motherfucking weekend. You know, I was good though, cause a bitch got home late last night. <laughs> I got home at like 12. What time did I text her? I texted her, I'm home at 11.47. We took an Uber home. She's literally staying in downtown at like three, four blocks from here, like literally walking distance. So took an Uber and my little drunk ass stumbled out the Uber and I walked home and on my walk home, I threw up in a whole plant. A bitch was lit, okay? Don't fucking like, Mm -hmm. The first spot we was at, we had Casamigos margaritas. So then by the time we got to the second spot, we was like, we should just stay with tequila. Like, so we had more Casamigos margaritas. And we had like three, four margaritas. But then like this nigga bought us shots. You know, we got shots because we killed <laughs> some free shots. And um, um, chow, anyway, so, you know, I got really drunk. Like I was really drunk and I was just like, wow like this is very fun you know like very whimsical very like on a whim you know very like ah. i was just very lit i'm feeling still like i'm a little lit but i slept so i woke up at like 6 50 no it was probably like 6 30 actually and literally as soon as i walked in the door oh i was on the phone with chiny when i was walking home like i literally called her up and i was like bitch i'm lit as fuck right now can you stay on the phone with me and she was like of course and she was just talking to me like she's on the phone with me but um yeah last time was fun <laughs> very fun um yeah but i didn't wash my face i'm so disappointed but that's the littest i've been in a in a while like i get lit but i always always come home and wash my face and yesterday it was literally like came through the door locked the door and as i'm walking to my bed i'm undressing like my clothes are in a line on their way to my bed there was mad clothes clean clothes on my bed i just pushed some shits to the side and i crawled in bed like Oh, 
Um, now it's time to wash my face. I have a gym session in an hour and 15 minutes. Um, and yes, I'm going because I missed yesterday and I want to go today and I want to go tomorrow so that I make my five days this week. And hopefully I could like burn out whatever, you know, alcohol calories I added to, you know, my body yesterday. Like maybe I can like subtract them, you know, like that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> For today's agenda. I've got an event to go to with Shanice that she invited me to. I'm so excited. That's also why I went shopping yesterday, but I think I told you guys that. So yeah, I have an event to go to. I'm gonna go to the gym, come back, take a shower, get ready for that, put more makeup on after I done worn makeup for the last however many days. I don't even be wearing makeup like this back to back, but you know, it's hard out here for a bad bitch. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, chill. anyway, so. Let me wash my face off and stop what is yapping. Just ask one of us up here. Okay. Shanice, say hi to the vlog. We just got to this event that Shanice invited me to. It looks very cute though. But yeah, this chair is better. Yeah, so we just got to the event. It started at 12 over here. Um, we have they have their products laid out. Yeah. It's very cute. Um, it's very overcast today in LA, which I think is okay because we're on the roof, so I can't imagine if it was like really sunny how that would have been. But we're here. I didn't even show you guys my outfit, but I eventually will. Australian experience. Thank you. Yeah. Round two. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this is actually a very cute lunch vlog. to the Belmont. Okay, so I ordered the Brussels sprouts. Shanice got her chicken mac and it's, she said it's spicy. It's chicken mac, she has a cab, and I got a watermelon mojito that I'm scared to drink. <laughs> I'm avoiding it. <laughs> this smells amazing. You have to try this too, because I know you like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, it's breaded chicken. Is it a nice little crunch? Hello, a vloggy vlog. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Um, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. I honestly, I don't remember the last time I spoke to you guys. I got so late yesterday, I don't remember. But I feel like it was before I left. But then again, I don't know. There was so much going on yesterday. So I'm not even gonna speak on that. But your girl was out all night with my friends and literally got in so early this morning. <sighs> I'm like slightly still hung over. Like I have a slight headache, but I took two Advil. I just got off the shower, you know, refresh myself, cleaned up, put on some clothes. I want to go to the nail salon right now and get a pedicure. I, I know I can do my own pedicures. Like I'm fully capable of doing that, but I just feel like I want to sit in a little massage chair for like 45 minutes and have the nail lady rub my feet out, you know, do give me a little massage, paint my toes for me because I'm tired. I don't feel like doing it. Like some things you just wanna, you know, go and get done. Every once in a while at least, you know? So I'm about to go get a pedicure. Um, I asked Shanice if she knew of a nail salon in downtown LA and she told me about the one that she went to that she said she really liked the way that they did her toes. So that's where I'm about to head right now. So yeah, let's go get our toes done because my toes look crazy, okay? Oh, and I lost the nail. You know, what's new? You guys, I'm in Paris Baguette. Go get me a sandwich. I walked over to the nail salon and they had to give me an appointment for like after six because they were like fully booked up or whatever, which is fine, you know. So I went to Zara and I got some cute stuff from Zara, like some basic, and then I got these really cute sandals. I just got back from the nail salon um my toes look so good like he did a fabulous job like literally i tipped him so well because i was like these are perfect like my toes look perfect i was so i'm so meticulous and like particular about how my toes look which is why i do them all the time like i don't really trust other people to do them because i've gotten them done so many times and they literally like just come out so bad but he did such an amazing job like i literally want to go back every like two to three weeks and have him do my toes because perfection look at my freaking feet oh my gosh my toes look so good like i know some people don't like feet but like you can't even deny i have some pretty ass feet <laughs> like period it's giving oh I love, I'm obsessed, literally obsessed. So as you guys know, it's Saturday. I feel like I'm gonna end up going out because Brittany's still out here, but then also her friends just came out here. I think we're all just gonna like go out and do what we've been doing <laughs> the last few nights. But I got so lit yesterday, but I didn't throw up or anything, like no nausea. Like I did really good, but my camera died. But like I was saying, um, when I got to the nail salon, it was like 4.40 and she said the next available time set that they had was 4.620. So I was like, I had like two hours to kill, a little less than two hours 
cars to kill and I'm in downtown so I was like I'm gonna just walk over to um, the shopping center that's on Fig and 7th where there's like a Zara, the Target, that's the Target that I always go to and stuff. Cause I realize like looking at my wardrobe, I know that I don't have like a lot of clothes, but I also don't have like a lot of basics. Like there's just a lot of things that I need to get because my wardrobe I feel like is very lacking. And then also on top of that, I lost a lot of weight and a lot of my clothes, like I'm not a medium anymore, you guys. Like I'm actually a small, like I'm now a size six. I'm like working, I'm, I'm not really like working towards a specific number, but now knowing that I'm a size six, like if I can get to like a size four, if I can get to like a size four, I would be very like, very pleased. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm pleased right now, but like I'm gonna continue to work out obviously because I'm not like where I wanna be yet. So like all of my clothes that are kind of like this material, like a knitted material or like bodycon, those kind of like still fit, they're just a little bit looser. Like this one even has like a lot of like stretch and just but um my jeans like i wore jeans yesterday or the day before yeah yesterday when i went to that event and those jeans were like literally falling off my hips like and th they used to be so fitted and tight like i used to literally have like a little muffin top like my love handles used to stick out of those jeans and now they're big so like i also have to get more clothes because my wardrobe is obviously like not the same size anymore like i've lost weight so went over to Zora and I like the little red bags I was surprised like they never have they've never had colored bags before like it's always like the brown ones or the black ones and then it says on the bag there's no beauty only beauties coming soon so I feel like Zara is about to start doing makeup I feel like they're gonna have a cosmetic line like every other brand now that wants to sell makeup which is like so funny to me but whatever okay so the first thing that I saw and picked up and I didn't try, I didn't try any of these things on so they're high rise shorts uh, from Zora they got a little like blue tag I thought these were so cute they're like a little acid wash but they're high-rise and these are in a size 6 a European 38 and oh my gosh I feel like these are gonna be so freaking cute on me like I can I can tell that these are gonna be very cute like I didn't have to try them on so that was the first thing that I got <laughs> then the next little thing that I got was some basics so I got one of these. I already have one of these shirts in like a kind of like terracotta peachy orange color. And I saw like this really pretty like muted green. It's like, it, it I'm wearing gray right now, but and it kind of looks gray, but it's not. It's like a seafoam green. And it's like a ribbed material. It's really stretchy. I usually wear this with no bra. The terracotta like orangey one that I have that you guys have seen me wear a bunch of times before now, Um, I got it in a medium large because it's like extra small small and then medium medium slash large and that one doesn't like because i lost weight <laughs> it doesn't like hold my boobs up the way that i want it to so this time around i got it in a size extra small small yeah and this was 12.90 or oh, i forgot to tell you how much the shorts were the shorts were 35.90 that's them right there and then i saw another little cute Props. I'm just gonna be like this summer, especially like with the weather warming up and stuff, I'm gonna be in a ton of little like cropped shirts like this and shorts, like either biker shorts or denim shorts, like that's gonna be my vibe. <laughs> you maybe a heel or a sandal, you know, you could dress it up or you could dress it down. You could throw a leather jacket on it and some black heels and then you know, she's a cute little pop out outfit. Maybe, I mean you could do pink, but this one's like smaller, like not smaller, this one's like shorter distance this way so this one's giving me very much like sports bra vibes i'm okay with that it still has great stretch and it's a ribbed material but the material of this one versus the last one this one's a cotton material the pink but the seafoam green is like a spandexy material so and then the last um basic item that i got was another crop time bitch I t i'm gonna be outside this one isn't ribbed but it is that spandexy material it's like a really soft spandex cotton material and this one gives me like you know like little white cropped bralette vibes like this with some den those denim shorts and some white sneakers and maybe like a cropped denim jacket if I if I need a jacket like if it gets a little chilly if I'm like on a rooftop like sipping mimosas this would be 
so freaking cute. This one was $12.90 and I got it in an extra small slash small again because I want it to be like, I want it to hold my boobs up. You know, I'm not gonna wear it with um, a bra, so. And then the last thing that I got were these shoes. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even planning on getting shoes. Like I never ever actually plan on getting shoes from Zara. But if I see a pair of shoes that I like, like I'm gonna get them because I feel like Zara shoes are actually really good quality. They usually range from like 30 or $35, like up to like maybe like 150 or whatever. But I always feel like it's super, super worth it. I have a bunch of, well not a bunch, but I have a few um zara shoes and i've had them all for a really long time they've never like broken on me or like busted anywhere or like started to separate like they're literally so nice if it's leather or if it's supposed to be like a leather vibe but it's faux leather it's like the best kind of faux leather and then if it is leather like it's really nice leather these I don't know if it's real leather or not, but they literally feel like real leather. Like they're so, they're really soft. It's like a matte um, leather vibe. And they're in like this really pretty cream color. And it's giving me like Birkenstock vibes, but you know, cuter because it's more modern. And I just feel like these are really nice. Like I just love these so much. These were 60 bucks and yeah, they have like the, um, I don't know what this is called, but like yarn, twill, braided yarn, I don't even know. But you, you know that vibe, like an espadrille kind of shoe. And they're like a little platform. I'm gonna try them on. <laughs> and these are my toes that are so freaking cute. Aren't these so cute? Look at how cute these shoes are. They're so cute. If I could find the link, which I'm sure I can, I'll have them linked down below in the description box for you guys. But like literally with my anklet and my perfect white toes, I'm obsessed. Yeah, so those are all of the things that I got from Zara. It wasn't too bad. I think my total was like $140. Let me close this. You guys, I just finished getting ready. I'm about to go out. I just have on this, um, my bathroom is like literally a mess. Look at all my makeup and everything. I just have on this like bodysuit situation thingy. It's like a, a, like a lacy like unitard. There's like lace here and then around the thighs. I wore this on New Year's Eve and I just look so different in it now. Like I look so much skinnier. <laughs> I keep talking about how slim I got. Okay, let me shut up. Anyway, I have that on and my leather jacket and then I have have on um, my clear mules and that's my little outfit I'm about to leave I'm not gonna be bringing my vlog camera but if I'm gonna if I do end up like vlogging it'll be off of my phone but yeah this is the makeup you know it came out real cute this is like my go-to glam like I love smoky winged liner like this is literally like my go-to like I realize I do it all the time like when I'm like when in doubt just do smoky liner <laughs> but yeah I'm about to leave you guys happy sunday it's the last day of the weekly vlog oh my gosh i literally can't believe we're already on sunday like where did the week go i feel like this week flew by you guys i um switched the wig out we had a, a hair change the the one i was wearing yesterday like i was like okay i've been wearing this for a while I need to switch it up. We need to switch it up. So I put this wig on. I already had this wig. I did a whole video on it and everything. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Um, but it's just the cutest, like, brown with blonde highlights. And I'm just obsessed she's definitely giving a completely different vibe are you feel me <laughs> this is what i'm wearing i literally wear this all the time i literally wear it all the time and i'm wearing my new um zara slippers they're so comfortable and they're so freaking cute so i'm giving like a monochromatic vibe because i'm wearing the cream um one piece and then i have like the cream leather shoes and then i'm gonna wear my uh, cream leather jacket from zara so i'm about to put this on I be feeling like Beyonce in this color, but I'm I'm not saying I'm Beyonce. Nobody's Queen B, but Queen B. But like, 
it just be giving you know sasha fierce like i actually don't even remember what we named this wig if we came up with a name for this one but i'm about to go <laughs> i'm about to go meet up with my friends that um i was out with yesterday we were supposed to do brunch today but we all like super hung over so that didn't happen but i think we're going to get food now so i'm taking pictures i changed my outfit 